So just as a reminder, your part of fortune is where you can focus to bring harmony to your entire incarnation so that you can bring about the intent with which you took it. Just to remind you, you are essentially an angel or a spiritual being. You took this incarnation, you selected it because it offered you an opportunity to channel the universal will in a certain way that would be useful to you in your development through many incarnations. So the part of fortune aligns your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And the sun, of course, is where your spiritual self comes through and sort of peaks through your incarnation uh, now. And then the moon is your intuitive uh, animal self that can nurture spirit if worked correctly. And then finally, the rising is your earth, your elements. And by making all three of those in alignment, by focusing, moving from your part of fortune, you bring about success and harmony. If you'd like to learn more about those details, like I go much more deeply into them in a couple of videos, those are linked below. However, in this video, I'm going to speak with you about your 12th house part of fortune. The 12th house is a house of solitude, of isolation. And so by having your part of fortune there, it's saying focus on being yourself by yourself, creating a space of solitude. There are many ways to do that intentionally. So for example, some people who have this placement might choose to have a practice of meditation where they're shutting out the external world and all its influences and simply being of course there's many forms of meditation but one way or another simply being with self alone um, other people might have like let's say somebody happens to be an artist then they might create an environment that really reflects almost like their internal self and that could be their studio, that could be their whole home, again, depending on many factors of who they are. And, and by really spending time alone in that studio, that house, they're, they're becoming surrounded by and in essentially selecting their own influence, the influence of their divine self over everything else. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have relationships if you have a 12th house part of fortune. It simply means that you need to carve out a space of solitude because that act of, of making sure that you're fully comfortable with and familiar with your own self without any other influences around, that is going to bring bring about the maximum harmony for you in this incarnation. Again, to allow being, a, being alone and really spending that time with self alone, um, you're going to be able to take your son and channel that spirit towards soul where you receive it in your, in your body and intuitive self. And finally, the body itself, the, that double of the moon, or the soul, which is the elemental nature of who you are. So um, when you're aligning those things by focusing on solitude, being by yourself, reflecting, essentially allowing that divine influence and nothing else to reach you at those given times that you have selected, then you're able to channel the universal will in the specific way that you came here to do.